So YouTube, this is Joe from Zephyr War Games, and now I'm bringing to you guys an update to Rockets. This is pure Rockets, um, so this is not taking my um, the uh, mech, the Orcus <laughs> version that I made a while ago um, here on the channel. Uh, this is 100% pure Rocket. I felt like with the brand new support, it kind of works better in a more dragon focused deck. Though I'm going to try and. Um, revamp the Orcus variant and try and get the best hybrid that I can make out of it just because I really like the synergy of the between the Orcus cards and the Orcus just generates so much link fold and link advantage and just do great recursion plays for the deck so it can go into its higher link plays um, very very easily um, but at the moment as I said this is a pure rocket deck um, literally anyone can pick this up and play it I try to make it a more stun variant of the deck Though being rockets and just how dragons work, they can go into really big boss monsters and push for a lot of damage very quickly. Um, so if you catch your opponents off guard, you can really do a lot of damage there. So before I get into this, if you enjoy this, give us a like and subscribe down below. Ding that notification bell because obviously if you enjoy a person's content here on YouTube, you don't want to miss on that content. And that notification bell helps prevent that. And all of that is greatly appreciated and we thank you guys so much for doing so. So with all that said and done, let's get into this rocket deck. So as I said, this is pure. Um, so I'm trying to go as many rockets as possible that actually do something. <laughs> or like when they're triggered, um, generate you a lot more advantage. So I'm going for the level fours in all honesty in terms of like the actual rocket monsters barring one. Um, you'll see that in a minute. But so free tracer is your main tuner of the deck. Um, just generates you so much. Pops a card, gets you another monster. So it already is like a one card link to a one card level eight synchro. Uh, two recharger. Uh, you do a lot of popping in this deck. So being able to just um, trigger recharger in hand, get another monster, a different monster back from the graveyard when something gets blown up, um, just generates you so much in Again, advantage and that's what the main thing we're trying to do with the rockets is just try and generate advantage while they're doing their own thing two magnum rocket just non-target removal monster being level four as well one copy of metal rocket um and then one copy of silver rocket um these are the next best ones in terms of my personal opinion i even think i even class silver better over magna just because silver lets you look at your opponent's x check and remove a threat um but I think in terms of like trying to stun your opponent, Magnum Rocket might be a little bit better, though you can bounce between the two um, and interchange them as you wish. Um, this destroys everything in the same column as itself, so you can get a lot of value out of it if timed correctly. Um, and it's also one of the highest rocket in the third highest rocket attack, or tied for our third highest now. Um, again, as I said, Silver Rocket. Uh, the brand new one, Rocket Caliber. It's another level 4 tuner now, which is pretty nice. Um, so he's a Dark Dragon tuner with 1700 attack and 100 defense. You can special summon this card from your hand to your zone a Dark Link monster points to. You can only special summon Rocket Caliber once per turn this way. You can tribute this card to special summon a Dark Dragon or Machine um, monster from your from your hand, except Rocket Caliber. You can use the effect of Rocket Caliber once per turn. So. In terms of rockets, it's just already good. It's just naturally good for a rocket deck. Um, again, being another level 4 tuner, it's a free summon. It can trigger off your um, topologics if you're playing those, and so on and so forth. Like, it does a lot, and again, being a tuner can go into a synchro place. But in terms of, like, future Orcus update, um, this card's great because it can actually get those dead Orcus out of your hand because it doesn't actually matter what you're summoning. So... I, you could, in all honesty, take in like a small Orcus engine um, and then you just use Caliber to help tutor them out from your hand if you um, dead draw them. Uh, so Rocket Caliber is a great card. The last of the Rocket ones in terms of Rocket by name is Rocket Synchron. He's the only non-level 4 I'm playing just because he just does so much. Um, you can just normal summon this, get back a level 7 and then just go into either Synchro play or Link 2 play 
um, which is just very strong. So you want to at least play as a one-off. For your extenders, free abs Arado. In the pure variant, I think free is great. Um, at worst case, he's just a free sum. You're playing so many rockets in your deck. I think I'm playing like 11 rocket names. So he should always be easily summoned. Um, searches you another rocket as well. So it just gets you so much advantage. Abs Arado is great. And the next free extender is Nocto Vision. Just again, another free level seven extender. Um, both being level sevens means that you can revive them off Synchron and go into level eight Synchro. Um, so that is synergy there. But Nocto being a free extender and instead of searching, you just getting your draw card. Um, just is just fantastic. Um, we're playing one of the double disruptor dragon. Uh, I think this card's great. I don't see like. To me, I can understand why people don't like it, but those people are playing like Rocket um, Dragon Link decks, so this card doesn't really synergize well with that deck um, in particular, other than the fact that it contributes itself to target two rockets in Graveyard and revive them. Um, but in this variant, in this rocket deck, you're actually using the searching effect as well, because I actually want to summon the brand new boss monster, Borlo Riot Dragon. Um, I love this card. <laughs> so he's a level eight Ritual Dragon. With three fast attack, 25 on the defense. So if you want to play Melody, you can search it off that. You can ritual summon this card with heavy into lock. When your opponent special summons a monster or monsters quick effect, you can negate the summon. If you do, destroy that monster or monsters. Then destroy this card or one rocket monster you control. If this card is in your graveyard, you can target one bubble or rocket monster in your graveyard. Destroy one card you control or in your hand. And if you do, add that, add that target to your hand. You can use each effect of Borlo Riot once per turn. So the fact that you can actually target itself um, is very nice. Um, it means we don't have to actually play any searches to search this card like Melody Raking Dragons, adding in more bricks to our deck. I can just literally send this off Ravine, then use the effect to target itself, pop a card in hand and add it back to hand, um, which is just absolutely great. You're, get, you're constantly getting a... Um, uh, free fodder which is just great um, and so very consistent like it's just the fact that he's got inbuilt consistency is fantastic moving on to the spells cards uh, spells cards uh, <laughs> moving to spell cards is two copy one copy of interlock and one rapid trigger this is all searchable of your double disruptor um, so you all know what rapid trigger does heavy interlock though is the brand new ritual spell for the rocket archetype um, this card is used to ritual summon Borlode Riot Dragon. You must also tribute monsters from your hand or field and or destroy rockets from your hand or face up on the field whose total levels equal 8 or more. The monster special summon by its effect cannot be destroyed by battle with a monster special summon from the extra deck and is unaffected by the activated effects of any monster special summon from the extra deck. So it gives the Riot Dragon protection. The fact that they both list each other by name means that you can play things like... Um, the uh, ritual searches um, because uh, like pre-preparation of rights that's it um, but I'm not personally not playing those uh, just because this is searchable of this which this is then easily discarded by your field spell and this is also discarded by your field spell and they just search each, they just get each other back um, which is just fantastic three copies of quick launch just it's quick launch it's just too good uh, two copies of Boot Sector and one Dragon Ravine. I'm playing in the pure variant. I think two Boot Sector is great just because one for your combos and one for your recovery. Like this is literally a soul charge in this deck, which is fantastic. Um, and then Dragon's Ravine, you search it off your Romulus. Um, I wanted some draw power, so I'm playing three copies of Allure of Darkness. You're playing an entirely dark based deck, so your Allure is just great. If you want to, though, you can take this out and put in like hand traps. Or things like uh, triple tactics talents and stuff like that. Um, stuff that just either disrupt your opponent, stop your opponent, or generate you advantage if you try if you're getting stopped. One cool by Grave those hand traps, three copies of Blood Legacy Guard Dragon. This combos so well with Tracer, it's just unf it's just like it's just nuts. <laughs> Being able to revive Trace and Tracer pop this. Um, it's just fantastic. But getting your rockets back into your hand. Um, is just really handy in this deck, so uh, you just add on the field because you just need that link fodder uh, to go into your higher links. But I'm playing one copy of Monster Reborn just because it's just generic. And I'm playing five trap cards. I picked 
fire trap cards that are not only budget but are very strong and disrupt your opponent while also giving you advantage as well and i think one of the best ones to do that is crackdown uh crackdown is just so good um time it right you can really stun an opponent in their tracks and if not uh being able to um steal their boss monsters as well is just pretty good so i like the crackdown a lot it also gives you free link fodder if you steal link monster got link markers as well um crackdown just does so much for you and two copies of solemn warning warning is actually going to get very popular um because sword soul and you want to stop the synchro plays you want to stop the fusions um and like so they're, they're fusions they don't play fusions um but uh destroy phoenix and force is also another thing as well um which is why warning is just so good being able to stop that uh fusion spell that just uh destiny fusion uh is just too good moving on to the extra deck now we're playing bowls because we're bowls <laughs> we just want to play all the bowls um all the good ones um bowl guard is arguably really good <laughs> yeah it's actually really good in this deck because of the brand new boss monster we're playing that we got in uh fusion De um burst of destiny bowl guard actually combos very well with that so we're playing the bowl guard for that synergy there uh, the brand new boss monster, Bowl Code Dragon. Uh, so he's a link free dark dragon effect monster, 2500 attack, takes two plus effect monsters. This card cannot be destroyed by card effects while a link monster points to it. You can only use each of the following effects of Bowl Code once per turn. At the start of the damage step, if this card that was linked summoned using three monsters as materials battles an opponent's monster, you can destroy all monsters on the field. You can banish this card from your graveyard. Banish one dark monster with 3,000 or more attack from your graveyard, from your field. And if you do, special summon a topologic monster from your extra deck or graveyard. The topologic I've chosen is Bomber Dragon because I love Bomber Dragon. <laughs> Bomber Dragon is so good. He can cheat you out such easy wins um, because of his burn effect. Um, his board wiping effect comes in very handy and synergizes very well with rockets naturally. Um, so that's why I've gone for Top Logic Bomber. You can play Zerobodos if you want to. Um, and Trist Bane is also another target as well. I've gone for Bomber Dragon for the Bowl Code. Bowl Code wipes the board clean. Combos roll with Bowl Guard because he can't be destroyed by card effects in general. So Bowl Code won't kill Guard. And Guard having his link markers means he should always be able to point to Bowl Code at some point uh, meaning that he gives himself protection as well so ball code dragon is a very cool very fun card to play and i think in this deck as well as the orcas deck because they just generate link fodder like crazy um it's a very good card to play moving on for the link twos one delindrous dragon to combo with your rockets one twin triangle dragon we're playing a lot of high level monsters in this deck so being able to make this with our rockets and then revive something from graveyard and then just link off with that um just means you're just link climbing very much easier i'm playing two copies of quad bowl i think in the pure deck two is a great number because he not only can pop himself to get you like a two counter um bowl of savage which is very strong but also in terms of like going second this car is actually pretty good so probably playing things like forbidden chalice or um in perms and basically just effect negators to bait your opponent's effects um so then you can use a quad bowl and just pop their link monsters and just recur so much advantage off that um is something to think about as well last the link to is is romulus because romulus is romulus uh then striker dragon and i'm playing two pisties we banish a lot in this deck so being able to use another second copy of pisty later in the door to recur one of your banished cards so if you banish um when you banish your double disruptor you can revive it off pisty in the banish zone and then use disruptor's effect to tribute itself and generate two back so it basically turns pisty into a revive two um it's pretty good combo there so i'm playing two copies of pisty for the non-links is the one copy of borlo savage and one copy of furious furious and with a um rapid trigger fused uh, means that he won't die by bowl code which is pretty good there and then you got a free pop off the bowl code as well 
But that, guys, is the deck profile. I hope you all enjoyed it. Leave your comments down below what you think of Rockets and the new support. Are you playing it? And so on and so forth. How are you playing your Rocket decks? This is a very different deck um, in terms of like what you tend to see with Dragons and Rockets. It's mostly, again, like Dragon Link. Um, and I am going to work on the Orcus variant because I think there's a lot of good synergies there. Uh, as I said in the original profile, they have so much nice synergy. And I think with things like Rocket Calibre, um, as well just adds a little bit more synergy to it as well so as always like comment and subscribe to next time as always stay safe and happy dueling <laughs>